gonna mess with anybody's vibe too much. Can we start the stream on a high note and look at Beaver once again? Sebastian Beaver, the best 15 year old you've ever seen in your life. But I mean, honestly, as somebody that plays this game nonstop, the best 15 year old I've Happy ever had months. in a save ever. Smiling face with heart. I've ever seen, let alone signed. I've ever seen kind of perfect. He's not kind of perfect, but neither are you. Thank you for the five months. Helmet Dobner Neugebauer. Perhaps the greatest sale I've ever made. This is seriously uh, the greatest sale we've ever made. This guy is Buns. Our scout was fooled. Thought he had five-star potential. He did not. We're getting $10 million for this guy. I have no idea. I think there's scouts lying to them, too. Another one of the scouts that we were looking at has decided he does not want to join us. Ooh, Leipzig. Throwing the money around for Thomas Juller. $42 million. Oh, wow. They're willing to negotiate. Um, 40 Eight months noise. BTW has Dr. Benji or the other guys seen your bivet. Wow, I can't believe we just got that. <laughs> I like Thomas Juller too. I think he's pretty darn good, but that's a lot of money for Juller. Oh, shoot, man. Yeah, I know he's got high potential. I mean, he was a good get for us. We went out and signed him for five and a half million from Zurich and then did a loan back to Zurich for the rest of the year. Uh, and then we sent him to Heraklis El Melo in the Eredivisie where he played 33 matches and dropped a really good match rating. Like, you know, he's, he's come along. He's followed the right trajectory. He's got a really good athletic base, a really good mentality. Um, so the 51%, that, this honestly is the closest debate in the chat ever on selling or keeping a player. 51% of the votes were to keep Thomas Schuller on the team. I think Schuller is the type of guy in a couple years we can sell for a lot more than that. So I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do the persuade to stay. I feel like that doesn't give us the same contract options. I'm just going to reject it. You're right. Chat said 51% of us should keep Thomas Schuller. So even though we got a $40 million offer, we're going to keep him. Uh, you guys, uh, I see what Julaire can be. I know that was that was that was kind of a weird vibe to reject that. How did he not? He didn't get mad. It said he was incredibly interested. Who is lying to me right now? Hey Zealand. Andrew Schultz for ten million to Olympiakos. All right, Andrew. One of the a very regular player for Costa Rica. We signed for 1.3 million from Saprisa. He did a loan in La Liga for Elche last season. Uh, he also made eight appearances for us. He scored a couple of goals in the league for us. So he deserves a little. Uh, he deserves a little ovation. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for your contributions. And uh, we we realize you probably didn't project long term as a first team player. So gave you a loan opportunity and made some money. He's headed to Olympiacos. Jaime Contreras, signed for free, loaned to Estoril. And then we recall, we loaned him to Estoril, but then we recalled him because he broke his hip and then he ended up playing eight matches for us last season. But you know, free to 31 million in like three years. Three to third. That is a victory in the scouting department. Jaime Contreras is headed to Valencia for $31 million. Sebastian Beaver. Yeah, he's um He's alright. You know, as a 15-year-old, I think I was near that level. Uh special transfer saga set to develop. Don't think so. Salzburg just offered an important player alone. I actually love this. I love this. I would love to have Marcus Arling on an important player loan at Salzburg. Yes. Absolutely. That is a great opportunity. He continues to, to develop as a nation-grown player. I think he's actually already a club-grown player, so I don't know what I'm talking about. That gives him such an opportunity to to play at a high level in the Champions League or the Europa League to do one of those two things and and just improve his game. You know, just really improve his game. 
They showed up with more money. I've never seen somebody do that. They showed up with more money. 51 million for Julaire. I, I mean, they literally just showed up with 51 million in percent profit if he happens to sell for more. All right, chat, what do you, what do you think? I don't think we get a lot from the percentage profit, but that is 42 million up front with, you know, it escalates over 50 million with payouts over the next two years. Uh, this is Thomas Julaire. Here, let me check the other inbox message. Oh, well, let, let's clap it up for Noah and Bomba. Before we do this now, let's clap it up for Noah. Um, you know, he had some struggles getting into first teams, bounced around Sabra and Dortmund. And then over the last two years, he's been an absolute stalwart for us, playing center back, playing anchor man, that ball winner position. I think a lot of us really loved Noah Mbamba. And uh, I, I certainly did. Really appreciated his contributions. His contract was coming up at the end of this year. So you know, it was time to move him on, give some other guys some opportunities. And he really didn't hit the ground running this year. I think he knew that his, his time was up. He's headed to Leicester in the Premier League. Uh, and I do believe he'll be a regular player for them as well. He's regular in the Belgian national team. Versatile, tidy, defensive player. Hardworking, cleans things up, screens the defense. One last Mbamba chant. I got no Mbamba. He's blocking balls in the defense. <gasps> Thank you, Noah. We really appreciated it. So do we move Julaire for $51 million? Now that we've sold Noah and Bamba, so we can like hit continue one time and that money, that money will hit our bank. So we'll see exactly how much we have in the budget and the balance. And we're a very healthy financial club right now. <sighs> yeah, I'm really excited for Noah and Bamba too. He, he in, like in real life, he looks like a really good player. Type of guy that's gonna end up on a, a major team is one of those defensive midfielder, center back sort of things. Benavidez rejects, Reverka makes a move. Okay. So after that advance, like we have 150 million in our transfer budget. We have 300 million in our balance. We are printing money and we really don't need the money. You know, we, we've, we've never needed the money. We'd increase our percentage uh, of the transfer revenue and it'll immediately agree to send it up to 100% and it'll immediately go back down as a glitch. But you know what? That glitch is ridiculous and it drives me freaking crazy. I think we are going to give him a season to see how he plays on our team, and we're going to reject the $51 million offer, especially considering we just don't know who we would want to spend that on. We can confirm the transfer revenue retention percentage has been increased to 100%, and it is literally at 60%. You can't make this up, man. This is why I have trust issues. It's crazy. I, like, just... Where do you edit it, dude? I, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all this darn toot madness. All I want to do is have an accurate transfer revenue retention when I make my sales. That's all I want. And an absolute fleecing here. Augustine Ramutloa for $13 million. A guy who has done a loan with Hartberg in the second division. And to his credit, he played really well. But Wolfsburg have dropped 13 million on Augustine Rami Low. Oh God, yes. Oh, he just found a five-star center back, dude. What? Oh, Ollie Lindsay. You beautiful lad. Let's send him down to the U18. Make sure he's training. Make sure he's working on his quickness at this young age. The Portuguese Englishman, Ollie Lindsay. An excellent get at under a million dollars, and um, yeah, he does have English national second nationality. Chat, guess that actually. Big signing alert! Wow! Ismail Kunroth, nineteen point seven five million for the Brazilian dual-sided complete wingback. Somebody that can play a little inverted wingback as well seems to be able to do that naturally. Can step up the field and play there as well, like late in a game if you need to make a tactical switch to a po to. Confuse, confound the opposition. We could do that. 
but Ismail Kunroth is a rare sighting of four and a half hard locked gold star potential, 18 years old. Uh, he turns 19 in four days, but we love him. We think he's going to be a very good player and we don't even have to register him for Europe based off of the deal that we were able to strike. No, we didn't sell Julaire because he's got that great potential. We did not sell Thomas Julaire. I so old school. We're just gonna reject it. It's 50 million value in guaranteed money with 23 million to be paid out later. First step is to see if we can talk him out of it, right? But he's actually not been at the club that long, so I do doubt whether we have a good shot at this. Um he doesn't have super great familiarity with our leaders, the social groups, and so we have to go in and have a conversation with him. And he wants to move to Bayern. I need to play at a bigger club. Of course, he's one of Germany's national team keepers. And why wouldn't you want to play for Bayern when you're one of those guys? Oh, what would it take to get you to stay at the club? Honestly, I'll ask that question. I want to win the Champions League. <laughs> I am... Um... Well, I can guarantee it'll at least be challenging for the Champions League and that you can expect to be reaching the latter stages of the tournament if you stick around. Ooh, that's a gutsy promise. What about just tempting him with a pay raise because we do have him under a longer contract? That would do it. Oh, no. Please tell... Okay. Let's talk figures you want to see. I would be happy with this. Yeah, for sure. That's never worked. I literally clicked that so that we wouldn't have to make a promise and it worked. That's never. I'm like, what if we tempted you with a pay raise? And he was like, yeah, I would do it. And it looks like we're going to have to put the same release clause in, but like we survived it last time. So, okay. Yeah, dude, I am absolutely. Yeah, we're not going to glitch the... Oh, that's the salary. He just he just locked it. And I'm like, dude, we are paying Max Dane five times that amount. So I'm okay with that. And we'll keep... That's the same release clause that's in his contract right now. So... Okay. Okay. All righty. It worked. We're all happy. I don't know how Marcus Arling's doing a loan at Salzburg. It's almost, it's you know, loaning to one of the other top teams in Austria is just the way to do it. It's just the way to do it. You get the experience in the league. We get to track your progress. You play against us. It's peak drama. We help out our league. Oh, we are. This actually okay. This is our. <clears throat> this is our first round cup match, everybody, against a semi-pro team. Are you ready? Okay. As we are going to win this game, we're playing a team in the third division. Uh, and we went unbeaten last season and won the double. So this is just a really unfortunate draw for them. And their team is so incredibly not as talented as ours that this should just be fun to watch. Let's go have some fun, guys. Here we go. Nice keeper. Hey, Han Shiquan is the third best goalkeeper from China. Have some respect. There's like 3 billion people there. Okay. The 17 year old Spaniard, Sambo Fafana. Hervé. Oh, the usual rubbish for Max Hervé. Oh, is it that just the usual rubbish from the Frenchman? Sifu play in the top corner. Shula! Shula, get it. It's going to get harder and harder to convince people that a lone move is the right thing for Thomas Shula after this. Orve! Nolino! Why would you loan out Julaire? Because he's not one of our top uh, three center backs, I think, in terms of ability, and he's got a lot of potential, and 
There are teams in top five leagues that want to give him really good playing time. Important player level playing time. Sambo, nice ball. And he's not, uh, he doesn't have any chance at a homegrown. Setia one, can't toot! Oh, what a goal! For Katut, set here one. Oozing quality, the $39 million man from Ajax. That is a strike from Katut, set here one. Oh, there you go, Sambo. There you go, Sambo. Sambo, that one right in. How's Blackman doing? He retired. Oh, there you go. Sambo, just he, he didn't try and turn it, but he does pass to Hervé. Oh, Castillo to Sambo. And that's the assist for Jefferson Castillo. Had a baby. I will play with two center mids and attacks that we get those extra runs. Out of that extra player, Hervé, the hold-up play, Noldinho. You got to turn. He had so much space. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. What a goal. Only world-class stuff from Max Hervé here. Setia Juan with a brilliant pass, and Hervé with his second volley of the game. That was right-footed. That right foot work on the training ground is paying off. It is 9-0 us on the road against Loban. And we have undressed the non-league team in the first round of the cup. So, great work. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't go too far below this. They might just... Oh, goodness. So, Marcus Arling will take his place next year. I do believe that. I mean, we're still developing Austrians. We do have Manuel Oberschmied, who's going to be an important part of this club, I think, for... You know, a very long time. He's a very good center back, Austrian national team in the whole nine yards. But Christian Yildiz, he's Dorfers through and through. What's the name of our youth academy? <clears throat> Hold on. Do we have facilities for our youth, um, youth facilities? Our state of the art youth ground is, uh, you know, he's, it's the fog plots. He's straight out of the plots, man. He's, he's plots through and through. He, he really is. He's straight out of the plots and, um, well, let's look at these other offers real quick before you have to make too much of a difficult decision. But um, he's, he's straight out of the plots. He's, it's amazing how young he is. I feel like Yildiz has been around forever. This kid, I mean, he got into the first team three years ago when he was like 16 years old. Or 17, 16 or 17 years old, like... It is amazing how relevant this guy has been for how long, considering he is 19. How is Vanderhorst only 25? Dude, look at Owen's, um, look at his career though. He has like, he has been at Floridsdorfer since 2023. It is 2031. Then he has put up three consecutive seasons with a rating over seven. He, oh, what do we got? What a guy. We'll keep it. We'll keep the sale in our back pocket. We don't have to make the decision now. Yeah, I think I think we might take the 34 million for Christian Yildiz. I think it might be time. We just don't have the... We, we have a lot of midfielders. We have a lot of midfielders that are quality, especially if we can't move Sylvan on a loan. Especially once Aviv Talias comes back. That's... 10 midfielders, 10 first team midfielders. That's tough to float, isn't it? Daniel Dillman. Huge pickle guy. Absolutely massive pickle guy. That's Ian Ortiz. That's former Dorfer. Oh, that's Setia Wine. Uh oh. <laughs> Not Dillman. Good save by Volk. Mark Aaron Wolf to you. Oh, Enriquez going long. It's Hinneman. A really good save from Antosh. He could be. Oh, he's off. He's off. He just cut Setiawan down like a tree. Get him out of there. 
Ref, ref, ref. Hi, Sober Schmied. Ooh, good ball by Dane. Hanneman, Hanneman! Xander Hanneman, the captain! Starting the season off right! Up a man definitely helps. Benegast, oh wow, okay. Ref, ref, ref. It's yours, you earned it, take it. Hope you enjoy that condo in Boca Raton as well. Condos, it's, it's, it's appreciating in value. Oh, come on. Right, okay, okay, you're, look, if you want it, you're gonna have to give us another one. If you want it, you're gonna have to give us another one. But you're acting like I wouldn't have euros. How else am I supposed to pay him? Enriquez, Pospisil. Oh no, how was Hervé not there? It was perfect. It was perfect. How was he not there? Oh, Trujillo, just have it. Is he on? That was beautiful. That was lovely. I have no idea how Hervé was able to make clean contact and steer this into the corner. Really just timed it right. Oh, Satya won. Oh my goodness. What a dummy by Henneman and Sander! <sighs> Dane. Satya won. Oh, what a ball to Hervé. They're a dirty team. Yeah, you know, you try and avoid the corrupt saves by doing, I do the 10 auto saves back. Very happy with the result and the way we played. Absolutely. Um, it's a good win. They went, they went down a man early and we were able to get on him from that point on. And um, honestly, we probably should score more goals. Antosh, yeah, they just asked me one question about Daniel Antosh. Stood on his head in the second half, that's for sure. Oh, can I even do this? I don't, well, it's not just whether it hurts. I actually don't know if it's good business, you know. Because there's no pressure forcing us to sell him at all. He's not demanding more money or playing time. He's not causing any problems at all. He's not depreciating an ability, which would depreciate his value. There's no pressure forcing us to sell him. Oh God, it hurts so much. Oh. I'm gonna miss him a lot, but we'd be doing a disservice to all the other legends that we've let go from Pablo to Oliveira to all these other, all these other cats that have been on our team that we've, we've moved on because it was the right time. It was a, it was the peak price and you know, with the guys that we've got. You know what honestly did it? Think about this. If our midfield's already crowded, look at the kids coming in in January. Look at this kid. I mean, we got to get these guys in the field, right? I mean, this guy's got five Mexico caps at 17. Right? And I love yield is to death. He, he performed beyond our wildest dreams, but like... We never had a season where Christian Yildiz was wasted on the bench and we got 34 million for a guy that came through our academy and he's always welcome back. He's a door for through and through, but $34 million and he goes plays in a, you know, a top 10 European league and mm, hurts though. Absolutely hurts. Uh, Max Dane just got hurt. He just broke his arm and he is going to play through that fractured arm. So, Max, put on the brace. You are going full Jamie Vardy, my son. Our replacement for Pospisil short-term would be Ismail Kunroth. Not short-term. I mean, Kunroth has crazy potential. And he's 18, and maybe we throw him in there. The question about Pospisil is, one, I do believe at least 60 million is fair for him. Woot Vekin, thank you for the gifted Woo! sub to Dale Montgomery. Welcome to the Hammers. Um... 
Yeah, I know. They're, they're the real debate is, you know, we want to, we think we can win the Champions League this year. pospecial has been through the wars. He's got the experience level on Kunroth by a mile. And in a huge match, Jaka Pospecial is the guy that we would want to put out there. He would need some convincing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to accept the offer and we're going to wait to see if he actually takes a contract with him. Then if he does, uh, then we know that we have the offer on the table. We don't know for sure. I think he might because he is upset here and they do have the money to give him a nice contract. But um, regular starter at Harrington, they did match it. So Sylvan's got options. And we've signed Amit Mishan. From his month-to-month -month contract in Israel as our backup goalkeeper for Mark Aaron Wolf. Life is good. He was never supposed to be great. He was just supposed to be free and steady. And he is free and he is steady. So welcome. Hey, Jalair took the deal at Hoffenheim. Awesome. That's a great loan move. I know you guys, a lot of people were campaigning for me to keep Jalair. Uh, I do think he's got a chance to be a starter long-term at the club. A loan at Hoffenheim is a great opportunity tight calf that's fine alone at hoffenheim is a great opportunity to to play in one of the best leagues in the world as a regular 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 player